This is an Inver Panda housing. Supposedly the top of this housing is made of polyoxymethylene, also known as acetyl or delrin if it's the DuPont variety. Now, I'm actually not sure if these tops are really made out of palm like most people say they are. And I'll show you why. I have my soldering iron set to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, as expected, at this temperature, the soldering iron doesn't easily dent the nylon of the lower housing. That's to be expected because the nylon has a higher melting point. However, if we take something that's, that we can assume is palm, such as a switch stem, we can see that the uh, soldering iron will melt it readily because the lower melting point allows it to be melted at this temperature very easily. Now, if I do the same test to a panda top, I can see that uh, the soldering iron does melt the top, but it melts it a lot more slowly than it does the stem, which to me suggests that they might not be the same kind of plastic if they don't melt similarly as each other. So, another test I did was the burning test. See, you can see here it's quite a bit more difficult to get it to melt at the same temperature compared to the stem. Now, so another the test that I tried was the burning test. Now the burning test is you burn the item and you look at what is the flame like, what is the smoke like. And for stems, we assume that they're palm. Palm is supposed to burn with, burn with a low blue flame, very little smoke. And that's what we see. I'm not sure if you can even see the flame on this video, but it's burning. The stem is on fire, the flame is low blue, and almost no smoke is coming up. Now if I try the same burn test, which I've, I've tried already and I'll do it again with the panda top I don't get the same result as the stem that I tested let me get focus here the so first thing is it's a lot harder to get it to burn in the first place when it does burn you get a, a large yellowish red flame and lots of black smoke it doesn't really look the same to me so it could be some kind of blend maybe perhaps there's a blend of palm mixed with something else that makes it burn differently and behave differently so I started wondering though, what if I did the same test, for example, on a uh, an alias top made by Gateron. Now, with the soldering iron still at the same temperature, oops, it doesn't readily penetrate this plastic, but it does melt it slowly kind of similar to how it behaved with the panda top. It could melt the plastic, just not as quickly as a stem. So that's got me thinking. Is there a chance that the panda top could actually be made out of a similar plastic to these Gateron tops? So let's see what the what the burn test looks like on this top. Let's do a new one. A little harder to get it going. But wow, I mean, it really looks the same to me. The way it burns. 
Lots of black smoke. Lots of guttering reddish yellow flames. You know, orange flames. Lots of soot gets produced. That's another thing that's common here. In both cases, you see panda on the right and the uh, alias top on the left. They both produce a lot of soot. So in conclusion, the melting points seem to be about the same, or very close. The burn tests look very similar. So I'm wondering if maybe there could have been some mistake in the information that we were given. And maybe panda tops really are made out of something else other than palm. I guess we'll just have to we'll just have to brood over that mystery and maybe we'll figure it out eventually. <laughs>